Hi, I'm Steve from abastands.co.uk and in this instructional video we're going to show you how to use the ABBA Skylift. Now we have the Skylift assembled, we're ready to fit it to the bike. The first thing we're going to do is remove this red upright and we're going to adjust the swing arm fitting to the correct height on the swing arm of the motorcycle. We'll do this by adjusting the pump up to the correct height so the swing arm fitting comes in line with the swing arm. Stand the bike up, retract the side stand, slide the lift in place and you can see we just need to raise the stand up to the correct height of the swing arm. Once it's there, slide it in place, and we're just going to lock the brakes on the side. Once the lift is in this position, the lift will actually almost hold the motorcycle upright. As we walk around the bike, it's advisable just to hold the bike pushing against the sky lift. Simply slide the upright over the base of the lift, connecting the fitting into the swing arm pivot. Firstly, tighten the small black thumb screw at the bottom, nice and secure. Then we just need a small amount of tension on the top here to take any slack out of the stand. And finally, we need to tighten the last little securing bolt with the Allen key supplied. Again, nice and firmly. Now we have the lift secured to the bike, there are three ways we can lift the bike up. The first way is horizontally to the ground, the second way is with the front wheel high in the wheelie position, and the third way is the rear wheel high in the stocky position. Now we're going to show you how to lift it horizontally. So firstly we're going to slide the rear support bar into the lift. This needs to be adjusted so it's approximately vertical with the bobbin adapter or the swing arm if you wish to attach the strap around the swing arm itself. We we'll just adjust it accordingly and we tighten up on the thumb screw. Then we locate the loop on the lifting strap over the bottom and the strap over the bobbin itself. Pull securely and the secondary buckle slides down just as an additional safety support. Make sure the valve is fully closed on the hydraulic ram and proceed to lift the bike. Once we get to the top locking position, we can use the locking pin, slide it through the lift, release the valve on the pump, so all the weight is now on the locking pin. We can now release the wheels and freely rotate the bike. To lower the bike to the floor, firstly, we're going to apply a little bit more pressure to the pump itself and take the load off the locking pin. Release the valve and lower the bike slowly to the floor. Okay, so now we're going to show you how to lift the bike with the front wheel high in the wheelie position. So we've removed the strap mount from the rear support bar and refitted it to the base of the Skylift as you can see here. It is important to make sure that the mount is in line with the bobbin adapter, so adjust the mount in or out so the strap pulls straight. To lift the bike in the wheelie position, we first need to raise the rear wheel of the bike a few inches off the ground. We then use the loop on the strap to go over the strap mount and over the bobbin adapter. Pull the strap tight and use the secondary buckle as extra security. 
We then continue to pump the hydraulic ram to the front wheel and come off the ground. You can continue lifting until just before the underside of the bike comes into contact with the lift. As before, simply release the valve to lower the bike to the floor. And finally, we're going to show you how to lift the bike in the rear wheel high, stoppy position. To do this, we simply lift the bike without attaching the lifting strap. As previously, continue until just before the base of the lift comes into contact with the bike. With all three positions, you have the option to lock the bike off at a lower height. And finally, removing the lift from the bike. Loosen the top adjuster screw. Loosen the securing bolt with the Allen key. And whilst keeping a little bit of pressure, pushing it against the lift, loosen the thumb screw. As you walk around the bike, Ensure you keep in a little bit of pressure against the lift. Loosen the brakes. Slide the sky lift out of position. And leave the bike on the side stand. So that completes our instructional video. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us via telephone or email. Thanks for watching.